trip. So we're going to replace the HID headlamp assembly today. Um, I ordered new headlights for this thing because they were kind of worn out and, and thrashed. And the driver's side one turns out is defective. So the, the shutter mechanism that's built inside that changes um, from high beam to low beam. Here, let me show you what that looks like. <laughs> is Georgie stalking you over there? <laughs> okay. I was talking to my neighbor about my cat who likes to stalk and jump out from under the car at dogs. So the deal is that underneath here, this is the cap that kind of goes over the bulb. And underneath, there's another piece. And you can kind of see there's a, it changes color and it's kind of jagged edge underneath that silver cap. And that's an inner cap lining. And that slides back and forth. That's called the shutter. And um, it covers the bulb more and less. And that's how the, the uh, high beam and low beam work. So that didn't work. And now, so the, the thing fired up fine. I turned on the car, uh, turned on the high headlights. The high beams look great. I went to low beam and this, this headlight stuck on high beam and you have to come out and cap it a couple of times. And then it drops back to low beam again. Really um, inconvenient when you're driving. <laughs> so I contacted the manufacturer. It's carparts.com. Um, and they sent out a replacement headlamp, which is back there. I got to take this one off first. So how do you do it? We're going to try to do a quick headlight removal here. God, I wish I could test the shutter in the new headlight without disconnecting this old headlight and taking it out, but I can't. So here we go. Uh, the first bit is right here where the, where the bumper cover meets the fender underneath the liner, there's a, um, 10 millimeter bolt here. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. Okay. Now I'm going to cheat because I already loosened this because I started doing this without taking a video and then I decided I was going to do the video. So I kind of put the screw back in. Okay. So there's the first bit is this, is this screw. These, um, you know, they're in pretty good shape. I've already cleaned this one because I had it out before. They get funky. And if you're in your state with uh, road salt and stuff, you may think about replacing these. They're available on Amazon for, I don't know, uh, 20 of them for 8 bucks or something. I mean, you can buy different packages. but And the replacements have a Phillips uh, in the head here, too. So you can actually use a large Phillips screwdriver to remove these screws. Okay. Next thing we have to do, that, that releases this. And what? What we're gonna, what our aim here is, is that there's a there's a screw under here that holds the headlight in, and there's another one under here that holds the headlight in, and here's the third screw. Okay, so there's three screws that hold in the headlight. So we have to take off this panel. I'm sorry, that's not true. This panel can stay in. It's this that has to come, that has to. It's part of the bumper assembly. So we have to take this whole bumper cover and loosen it up. How do we do that? We pull out these things. These are called radiator radiator protectors although what they really do is they their bump stops this is where it touches the hood when the hood comes down it it bumps here and it stops it you know and it stops the hood from falling the radar is down under under there it's actually right under here so the fact that this is up here and it's called a radiator protector is kind of weird but you know it is what it is so i'm going to unscrew both of these now, these things, um, when, if you want to buy new ones, I, I actually ordered new ones because this one didn't work properly. And this is relatively typical. In order to get this one out, I had to take the, the rubber part off. I had to use a pair of vice grips to do that before. I thought it was just going to unscrew this time. If you look, the, the Phillips head in there is kind of stripped out. Let me get the other one. You can see there is actually a Phillips head screw down in there. This one's stripped, and that's pretty typical if the car's been subjected to any kind of moisture. So these things are like 10 bucks a piece. I ordered them from Toyota online. The discounted price was $9.80 or something like that. 
when you order parts from Toyota online, they make you wait a couple of days to pick them up, but they, um, okay, here's the other one. Now, I, head and and it pulled off and it left the screw behind then i use vice grips to unscrew the screw i have a video on this somewhere anyways okay so the other fasteners are this one's missing i've ordered these in fact i have them I'm, when i put this back together i'm going to replace it again you can order these off amazon or a bunch of other sites these connectors work like this you pop up the centerpiece driver but I keep my nails a little long for this kind of stuff you the rest comes out another one belongs right here and um, I'll be replacing that so okay so these are now separated good we're gonna come back over here and this is where I took that screw out and I can just kind of start pulling this and it's actually going to come separated here. You see how this comes apart? Now, there it went. I just went clunk and this came out and this separated. Okay, so you can see what's going on here. Is now I've got access to this screw, which is a headlight screw this screw and you're gonna love this the last screw is right here okay they're all 10 millimeters so we're gonna pull those three out now I mentioned that I'd like to be able to test the headlight before I before I take this out I like to test the new one but the, the controller is way down here. The, the wire that I'd have to plug into the new headlight to be able to test the shutter assembly is way down there. And I can't get to it until I take this headlight out of the way. Even if I could untwist it, the, the wire is not long enough to get out here to plug into the new headlight, right? So I'd have to pull a wire out and plug it into the new headlight out here somewhere. Plus, these headlights are big. Look, my hand, this is nine inches from, from my thumb to my pinky. This thing is... 22 inches or so long. It's just, it's big and bulky and icky. So I'm going to take this one out. Let's see if I bring this over here. I'm just looking for a way to prop up my phone here so that I can keep recording while I Remove the screws. I'll be doing some editing later on, clearly. By Taroma. three 10 millimeters there's one right here again these screws were in pretty bad shape as far as corrosion or a little you know surface weathering and corrosion goes I cleaned I dropped I put them in some PRB cleaner this one came up real nice you see the screw has a shoulder on it Right here that's because the, there's a the headlight bracket has a thickness to it and that shoulder keeps you from tightening it down so tight that you actually crack the headlight assembly you know the tab that holds off by the way when you're looking at when I was looking at buying used headlights before I made this purchase the HID headlights there's only one aftermarket supplier that I could find and they're $325 a pair the halogen headlights which are non-xenon um, for the same model car were um, are only about a hundred bucks, hundred and twenty-five dollars a pair, something like that. So it's a little upsetting to have to pay so much money for just some empty headlight 
Oh, that brings me to the next thing. The other reason I can't just plug this in and test it, I don't know, maybe I could. Maybe I could test the shutter without. Um, so I find that it's easier once I loosen up this this bottom bolt to just uh, undo it by hand. I use I slip the socket over it for to get better grip, and I'll just unscrew this third one by hand. Okay, so that's one, two, three bolts. I'll use the ten millimeter head. assembly can now slip out. Now this is a new paint job. I don't want to relatively, I don't want to scratch it, the paint. So the whole thing's pretty awkward. Now, okay, I'm going to start disconnecting these, disconnecting these, these connectors that are on the back of the light to give myself a little extra room. One, two of them. This is for the parking, the, the driving light and the turn signal. There's one down here that snaps on to what we call the dust cover. I got a whole video on headlights, on the on the changing over the parts in the headlights that you can look up in my feed or in my stream or in my platform or whatever it is you call my collection of videos. These are all kind of your standard Toyota push a lever on one end of the clip and then the clip will work off. Something I want to mention is that all of these are real tight fits. They all have a rubber seal in them. So once you push the clip in, you have to wiggle it and pull it to get out. Here's the, he the headlight assembly, okay? Now, the suspect part is called a shutter. This is the, the motor that runs the shutter. It runs through here. Before I can use this headlight, before I can use the new headlight, I have to move this assembly, which is the ballast that runs the xenon lamps. I have to move this over to the new one. Before I can even test the light in the in the new light, I have to move this whole thing over, which includes disassembling an internal plug because there's a wire that runs off this, it runs into a, well, it runs into this plug right here. So this plug is at the opposite end, is the end of this. Well, you have to take the, disassemble this entire plug unit to pull it, to pull this out because it, there's stuff in here that gets in the way. It's kind of crazy, but there we go. Okay, so we've got it out. This dust cover, by the way, I want to mention, this one didn't have a seal in it. It was really easy to, to uncover, to quarter twist, lock and unlock. I ordered a new, I had to order an entire new assembly for $16 in order to get that rubber seal. It's at the Toyota dealer. I don't know. I placed the order. I'll be able to pick it up this week. But um, when this is when this is locked on there, it keeps moisture and dirt from getting into the headlight and polluting the inside of the headlight. So it's important to have that seal. And it makes it really hard to lock and unlock this thing. In fact, replacing... This is what the bulb, the bulb is right here. Replacing the bulb on these things, getting this off can be so difficult. People find it easier. This is Georgie. People find it easier to take the whole lead light out and do this replacing the bulb sometimes than just replacing the bulb inside of the car. Okay, that being said, I'm going to take this back and uh, uh, we're going to go back and get the uh, other headlight. So I'll be right back. So here's the new headlight assembly. Just trying to find another place to settle this phone where you can see 
all the action that I'm working on here. Okay, so the new headlight assembly, I just took this, I just opened the box at the back of the car and pulled it out. It, uh, this one is from, um, it's the only one I can find, it's from carparts.com. The manufacturer is called Depot. They don't tell you that when you're ordering it because it's just the HID headlamp replacement. And it's the only one I could find on the internet. I found that references and I found websites that listed this cool angel halo looking device, a headlight. But it seems to be vaporware. It doesn't really exist. It's just something that some company called Anzo. I think they did some concept art on it and they made it to the internet. And now there's websites that pretend to sell them for like 500, 600 bucks. But no, it has them in stock. And I would highly recommend not buying those because A, I don't think they really exist. I think they were designed to suck money out of people that were hoping to get the halo look, even though that's kind of like 2000s, right? Isn't that for? 2010 or something. Okay. So this is what you got. Doesn't come with a dust cover. This is the shutter assembly. This electronic device. There's a solenoid in here. And when you flip this, the headlight switch, it, um, it activates this, this guy right here. So that's what I got to do is hook up this shutter assembly. And I'm going to see if it'll work without before I even put the lamp in. I'm going to find the connector that connects here. The neat thing about these connectors, they're all shaped different. This one's a triangle. This one's a little trapezoid. This one's a rectangle. So it makes it easy. This one's a, this has a triangle. Here's the triangle. I'm going to snap it in. You have to push hard enough until you feel it click. Now I'm going to set the light down. I'm going to see if I can activate this, this shutter assembly with just that much attached. Basket. But that was on the other headlight. This is the new one. So I don't have the palace on here yet. Excuse me for a second. I want to give George some hard pets because he's being aggressive. He needs some hard play. Yes, we need to play. We need some good play. Oh, yes, he's a good boy. He's a Bengal who we rescued. Well, we're fostering him. And he was a street cat. We rescued him up in San Francisco. He's kind of feral, and he can display some unfriendly behavior. Come here, buddy. But what he's really doing is he's he's playing. It's a very aggressive play mode. Come over here. Hey, peek over here. So, he's really a loving cat, but he just needs a lot of attention. Pardon.
right. Well, that was interesting. Just had a confrontation with Georgie. He's a he's a tough guy. Um, when I stepped off camera there, he actually leaped up and bit my face and grabbed me on both shoulders. Shown videos of him doing this to the veterinarian. Two veterinarians who both kind of freaked out. Both said it's play behavior, but it's really aggressive hunting play behavior. And um, that's why it's been hard to find him a home. Um, by the way, the solution is to take him and lock him up in a room for a few minutes. It's the same thing cats, mothers do to them when they misbehave, when they're kittens. They put them in a timeout. Situation. Okay, I'm gonna explain what's gonna happen here. This is the old lamp, by the way, from the old bulbs. When I replace the new fixtures, I put in new lamps also. These things are about 53 bucks a piece from Amazon. This is the original lamp for the Generation 2 Prius. The Philips, they're the ones that came with the OEM ones. So I prefer to use OEM bulbs, especially when they're still available. Um, when I'm for testing purposes on this new light, I'm gonna put, I was gonna put in this used one. But it looks like I'm still gonna have to, oh, I know what I can do. I can plug this into, I can't. The ballast, I have to take the ballast off the old light to be able to even use, test it with this bulb. So I have to do that whole ballast, dis, uh, you know, take apart Delio. I'm wondering if, I can, no, I've got to do that. Okay, so I'm going to um, go one time around here to show it to you, and then I'm going to shut down the video. Again, here's the headlamp. Here's the stuff underneath with all the connectors connectors down there. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna turn off this video while I swap out the uh, the ballast on the two lamps.